Domestic violence advocates are seeing an influx of hotline calls. An international group has partnered with local nonprofits to teach more people about the warning signs. Bianca Holman explains the resources available. Back in 2011, I ended up meeting somebody that I thought was going to be my Prince Charming. And lo and behold, about four months into that relationship was the first sign of physical violence. Michelle Dewsbury is a domestic violence survivor. It took her four years to leave her abuser. People had asked me many times, you know, after that first sign of physical violence or even the first sign of emotional abuse, why didn't you leave? And there is a cycle in domestic violence. A cycle of walking on eggshells, big blow-ups, and then the apology stage. In order to help others, Jewsbury founded Unsilenced Voices. The nonprofit has hosted events in Ghana, Sierra Leone, Dallas, and now Las Vegas. One in four women in the U.S. and one in seven to 11 men in the U.S. experience domestic violence. If you're trapped, now is the time to get out. Unsilenced Voices has partnered with groups like the Shade Tree and the Cupcake Girls to educate the Valley and share resources for those experiencing abuse. Your voice matters, you matter, and it doesn't matter what he or she says to you or about you, you can break free. Bianca Holman, live, local, now. The Unsilenced Voices Free Domestic Violence Community is Monday, May 23rd. It starts at 10 a.m. at the Blind Center. Lunch is also provided.